G'day everyone, well I'm back from the shack and I had a bit of a drive home today to have a bit of a think about the hottest 100 craft beers that will be coming up very soon. I've placed my votes but I've really been thinking about what might make up the top five. I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. So I sort of was thinking to myself, well maybe the, the sales of, of Bolter and uh, Green Beacon this year change results a little bit. Well the fact that the actual countdown itself has new ownership changed things. Do you need national distribution via Dan Murphy's to be in the top ten? And what about someone from last year that maybe might make that sneaky jump up into the top five and knock one of the regulars out? Is that going to happen? Well, for what it's worth, as I said, I've been given a bit of a thought. So let's go through my top five craft beers in the hottest 100 for this year. At number five, I've got Filter Brewing and their awesome XPA. I bloody love this beer, and I think these guys do a really great job with social media with their sort of retro cool feeling, and the fact that they've got a really good following going on there. I also think they've got a bit of buzz going on this year from the fact that they announced that they're going to have their own, own, own home brewery very shortly, which I think is awesome for the guys. So at number five, Filter Brewing, XPA. At number four, this is an interesting one. I've got Bolter Brewing's XPA, which is, despite the fact that it's one of my personal favourites, it's pretty much always in my fridge. I think the fact that they've sold just recently might sort of you know, sway the voters a little bit. We've seen it happen in the past with, say, um, Pirate Life Brewing, so I'm thinking that might happen again this year to these guys. But I just feel like that the XPA is just way too good of a beer to fall outside the top five, so I've got it at number four. At number three, I'm taking a little bit of a chance, a bit of a flyer on the guys from Your Mates Brewing with Larry the Pale Ale. Not only is this an awesome name for a beer, but these guys have got an awesome Instagram feed and it's really been creating a lot of buzz. They've also had some fun with their Vote One for Larry campaign in recent times, so I think maybe it could jump up, I think it was 13 last year, those 10 spots, and jump into number three. At number two, I'm rewarding consistency with a beer that I think has a special place in a lot of our hearts. Of course I'm talking about the Stone and Wood Pacific Ale, which James Atkinson did a podcast on recently on Drinks Adventures, so go and check that out. I love this beer, and I think this one sort of has that sort of like sentimental vote for a lot of us, so I, I think it's going to retain number two spot for the second year in a row. At number one, I'm picking a beer that I think ticks a lot of different boxes for a lot of different drinkers for a lot of different reasons. I think independent still is a bit of a thing in this counter, so these guys are independent, yet they're very, very well known. The beer is absolutely awesome. It comes in those really cool cans, and it's pretty much got national distribution. I am, of course, talking about the Bent Spoke Brewing Crankshaft IPA, an absolute ripping beer, and I'm tipping that's going to come in at number one this year. Well, there you go. For what it's worth, that's what I'm predicting might be in the top five this year in the Craft Beer Hottest 100 countdown. What do you think? Have you got your own thoughts? Am I playing it too safe? Have I got it completely wrong? Have you got some other beers you think might crack the top five? Do you think Bolter might retain the number one spot? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment or maybe create your own video as well. And I cannot wait for those hottest 100 craft beers to be counted down later on this month. Cheers to great beers.